Hi everyone, uh, Tom Lyon here, just uh, answering a few of your questions that you've sent in via Twitter and other social media platforms, so thanks for that. And uh, first of all, I've had the virus. It's good. My missus, uh, she's on the front line, works at Wigan Hospital, and she contracted the virus and brought it home. So for a week, I've been fighting it off. I've had, felt like I've been hit by a bus. I've had all the symptoms, fever, boiling up one minute, freezing cold the next. But like the dogs were sat on my chest, breathing difficulties, aching head to toe, and now I've lost all sense of smell and taste. So I've been out of action for a week. So the lockdown had a pretty good routine going before that. But the virus got me, so I'm trying to fight that off and come back out the other side. But I'm well enough here to answer your questions, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you've got. Well, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of the group chats. I'm not in the main player group chat, but I'm in a lot of little ones around. So I've actually had some great conversations with uh, the little pockets to take, the about five of us. The best one I'm in is, is one with Joe Philbin, Toby, Matt Davis and Mamo. It's a great, um, great, in, in, there's a lot of great content goes into that. Weird and wonderful content and discussions. And we all kind of help each other. It's a very positive group chat. So that's probably my favourite one. But no, I've not really been winding anyone up. I, I spoke to Jay Scott the other day. He FaceTimed me. And, um, but no, it's not, not really. I don't really, really have time for uh, winding people. There's not a lot you can wind people. You've not seen each other right, to know what everyone's on. So I haven't, I'm not on the social media, so I don't see what, what stuff goes on there. But maybe if I did see then I would wind people up because I can imagine there's been some uh, horrendous things posted. I know Matt Davis is... Uh, I got a voice of audio from Toby yesterday telling me that Matt Davis has now got 4 million views on one of his uh, TikToks, so uh, they're buzzing about that. But And the, the TikToks itself, I've seen a lot of GIFs about how males who put TikTok videos online have sex. They're quite humorous. Obviously, they uh, them two are big on that. But no, I don't see a lot of it to, 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 to comment, which is probably a wise thing. Yeah, Cynthia's killing it. She's loving it. Obviously, the weather's been beautiful. So she's out in the garden catching catching her rays and yeah, she's in good spirits. She's not contracted the uh, virus. Off camera, love! Off camera! She's killing it. Up, up, living her day-to-day -day life. Happy, happy as Larry. So the, the funniest... Well... Not funny, but it was what came after it was quite humorous. If you re remember, we played uh, Hull FC once and Hassan Maloudi bit Chris Hill. And obviously Chris Hill went mad about it, as you would. And the, I don't know if there was any punishment or anything. But following on from that, we had Hassan's brother came on trial for, um, for a while. And long story short, the France won the World Cup. So he put in the players' group chat, like having a, having a joke about France winning the World Cup and... and Chris Hill was like, shut it. And he just put back, you shut it, I'll get my brother to bite you again. And that was quite humorous. Find it humorous, but it was. Oh, I'm not really one to get too embarrassed. I reckon when you have a, a nightmare performance, obviously, on the wing, it's normally if you drop a few balls, uh, bomb a few opportunities or miss a few tackles. And uh, I reckon a good fall from grace was me, from, for me last, was last year, obviously. We'd won the, the Challenge Cup final. The celebrations were brilliant. We obviously, were, you, you were out doing the parades on the, the Sunday and the Monday, then in the pub all together Tuesday. And then we had to start do, we had to play on the Thursday. So I, I was, I was in a bad way, bad, bad way, and had to go out there. And the first half went okay, and then uh, the second half struck, and uh, Ken Seo was my opposite winger, and the first one was a little chip kick. I, I tripped over my own feet, dropped that. He just touched the ball down over the line. Tried making amends for that. I ran down the wing, tried putting a little kick in behind, went straight to him. He went the full length, and then the, I tried jamming out the back, and they just passed it out. He got a hat-trick, so I reckon... Stuff like that when you just nothing goes well for you. The gods are against you, and you, you're up. You get your opposite winger a new two-year deal, and he scores a hat trick. That's probably as bad as it gets. So obviously we're away from family and friends at the minute, which is difficult for everyone, and you've got to stick by obviously the government guidelines. 
So the first thing I do is I go back over to Leeds and catch up with all my, my family and friends over there. I've got a young nephew who's nine months old, so I've been missing quite a bit of his development, which is sad, but obviously, luckily, we've got technology these days where you can do stuff like this and FaceTime and interact like that. But obviously, there's nothing like a bit of hands-on interaction. So, yeah, I'll be straight. As soon as the lockdown restrictions, then I'll be straight back over, down the M62, uh, back, to, back to Leeds and, and catch up with the family and see all my friends there. We are, we are friends again. Uh, it's um, obviously a very uh, distressing topic to discuss. Obviously, no one likes snitching, especially when it's unnecessary. And you're meant to be friends and you get one of your pal in, in trouble and just, you know, disrupting his day. And you, you just don't need that, do you? I've actually, my, my stepmom, uh, she snitched on me the other day to my dad. I did, uh, if you remember the Queen's speech, I did a bit, did a bit of editing on um, on a, on, a, on my Snapchat and put it on my story of a, a bit of humour. I won't go into too much details, but get in trouble. So, and she told my dad, who sent me a long-winded message, and I just thought, Do you know what? Like, I've had a very, I've about sixty people on Snapchat. It's very excluded. It's never going to get out there. And she snitched on me, so I, I gave her the cold shoulder for a couple of days. But I'm also friends with her again now. Not the best singer or dancer, uh, a bit uncoordinated. You probably see that by when you see me on the pitch. You know, I'm a bit of a motor more and struggle with um, movements and stuff. Just so, the only thing I would go to do is probably a bit of Frank Sinatra, my way. I reckon uh, that's the only one thing I could maybe do half a decent job. I won't say half a decent, but average to poor job. The rest, and you know, just it'd be one of them things where you'd have your hands over your eyes. But yeah, I'd. I'd, I'd I'd always put 100% effort in, give it my all, but yeah, I wouldn't be the best. But if I had to go for one, it'd be Frank Sinatra and my way. Uh, Benny Westwood, obviously brilliant. He used to do Stand By Me whenever we had team dues. He'd, uh, if you had a busker in the street, he'd take over the guitar and we'd sing that, doing that in Dublin. That was brilliant. He also did it in uh, Windermere for Don Crosby, did a stag do, a bus, bus crawl. And he, he took over, the, the singer was having a break and he went on the mic and sang Stan May. He was brilliant. I reckon going forward, Joe Philbin's learning the guitar. He's, uh, he's doing that time with his uh, isolation. He's just had a kid as well, so congratulations to, uh, to Joe. Uh, so, and obviously, if he can maybe serenade him to sleep, obviously, with his new guitar playing skills, that'll be good. Uh, anyone else who sings... But no, I don't think uh, don't think we're necessarily the most talented talented group in that in that respect. I've been listening to a lot of gospel choirs at the minute though, on um, sitting in the garden with the, the speaker on, and I'm really into that. Really, really, I'd love to go to America and go to one of these southern churches where they they, they talk to their God. They go, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, give him strength, strength from within. One of them churches, you know what I mean? But that's what I've been. That's what my time has come to now in the garden. Yeah. Really in touch with the man above. Right, guys, that's all from me. Thank you very much for all your questions. Weird and wonderful as always, and enjoyed interacting with you. Just uh, on an end note, I would need to continue as a nation to take a stoical res response, which means enjoying pain and hardship without complaining too much. So stay safe. Look after your loved ones, your family. Be the best versions of yourself and we'll all get through this together. Stay strong. Yeah.